Hi, welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis. Here with me today, I have Derek, Director of Public Works for the City of Grand Haven. That's correct. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So last time we talked to Denny Scott about roads and infrastructure and the replacement cost, uh, how much it costs to uh, replace roads or even repair them. So today we're just going to talk more about infrastructure as a whole and the utility and repair versus replace. Sure, absolutely. So first of all, I guess tell us a little bit about your job and what kind of that entails uh, overseeing a, a city's infrastructure and the utilities. Yeah, so the, 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 the city's infrastructure uh, system, whether it's the streets or storm sewer, um, water sewer, all of those systems uh, need to be maintained. So operating them uh, so they, they continue to uh, provide service for our residents mm -hmm. and businesses uh, is one of our top priorities. Um, they take maintenance, uh, maybe not daily um, in every aspect, but uh, we do annual, quarterly. Um, there's all programs uh, for uh, all aspects of the system. Sure, and I think it's a lot of things that we take um, for granted. You know, we drive and the roads are there and we flush the, you know, the toilet and things mm -hmm. happen. And when we turn the water on, it just, it just goes, flows. it just happens. But I mean, it's something that we have to take care of. It's, it's been there for quite some time. Um, what are some of the costs associated with, with the upkeep? So, you know, we employ uh, personnel to, uh, to operate those systems. Uh, for instance, uh, the water uh, system. Uh, we typically uh, operate our valves uh, annually or, or every two years uh, at least um, to make sure that they work when, mm -hmm. uh, when we need to, when they need them to. When we have a failure, uh, we need them to isolate those failures so we can make those repairs. Um, you know, we sweep our streets uh, almost daily uh, outside of winter, um, not only to make our streets look good, but also so the debris uh, doesn't uh, 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 get into our storm sewer system, then into our lakes and rivers. So it, most of it, I think, it's to make it look great, but, you know, there's a reason for that to, yeah, get it before we have to take care of it later. Yeah, um, you know, even our sewer system, um, you know, we, we clean sewers uh, continuously uh, to make sure that mm -hmm. they don't back up. Um, because of the shape that they're in, and uh, and so there's there's constant maintenance all the time on all those systems, maybe not daily and everything, but we're always sure. touching them. And is it better to just totally replace them or have a general maintenance plan so we don't have to replace? I mean, what's more cost effective? What do you try to do? Well, we try to maintain the, the infrastructure, but you know when the infrastructure gets uh, to a condition that maintenance doesn't. Uh, uh, make it continue to work mm -hmm. or function properly, um, you know, we, we, we have to do the replacement. And, and our infrastructure is, you know, decades and decades old. Uh, you know, some of it uh, dates back to the early, early 1900s. Wow. And, and trying to, to make sure the infrastructure continues to work, it's, it's putting Band-Aids on things mm -hmm. um, uh, just to, to get by to today. And so those maintenance costs increase as you continue um, to try and maintain those. Um, and then it becomes to a point where um, uh, that it's cheaper to replace that. And, and we want that reliability out of those systems as well. Um, sure. So uh, the interruptions to water or sewer flowing um, or even our streets having detours, um, they all impact our communities. Mm -hmm. I've kind of dealt with it today. With <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's a give and take. Okay, let's be stuck in traffic for a little bit, but the roads are going to be better. Right. So that's, you know, that's something that we need to do. We use a, um, a term called asset management, mm -hmm. um, and uh, some of those, uh, those programs are required by uh, state and federal agencies on us um, to inventory all of our uh, assets. Uh, and then so we can maintain those properly and have those balances between um, the, uh, uh, you know, replacement slash maintenance. Uh, sure. So we're not doing it, at a, we're not guessing, we're doing it with, with real science and to say, hey, mm -hmm. this is time to replace that. And where does the money come from? It's all from taxes. I know there's a millage coming up in November and um, some of that's gotta help, but most of it is from the taxes, correct? Yeah, um, we don't get enough um, revenue from our, uh, our streets uh, for the state of Michigan uh, to, to do reconstruction on our streets. So our tax uh, millages pay for those, uh, those costs. Uh, we have some dedicated millages in the past we've done mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure with, but um, but we believe that that uh, um, you know, paying cash in hand uh, for those infrastructures is better than financing them. Sure. Uh, and so, you know, they come from other sources like water and sewer uh, rates as well. Mm -hmm. um, and we've actually been able to uh, garner a lot of grants um, to to partner those monies with. So we make our dollars stretch further. Further, 
And if I remember correctly, Denny Scott said it was $700,000 a mile to do repairs on a road. Is that correct? Yeah, it's, it's, it's significant. Yeah, a little crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Um, is there kind of like a silver lining? I mean, some good news? With well, there is. Uh, we've been doing um, a lot of infrastructure replacements over the last uh, you know, 10, 15 years. Um, $60 million is what we've calculated since 2004. Wow. Um, now we have another probably uh, 40 to 60 million uh, that's in need today. Mm -hmm. um, and that doesn't include anything, you know, that over the next decade is going to need to be replaced as well. So, um, you know, we've done really great with our infrastructure, with the money we've had, and uh, we just need to continue. Sure. And in the long run, it's going to make it better. Absolutely. More reliable. Sure. Are there any uh, projects in the works that are coming up that we should be aware of? Well, we, um, we received, uh, and this is an example of, of partnering monies, um, we received two grants for one stretch of road mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and partnered that with our water fund uh, monies. Um, so we're going to do reconstruct Fulton Avenue between Beach Tree and, and Albee. Okay. Um, but those funds are very rare uh, to come across. Uh, we're very so lucky. So you can't really rely on them. It's just nope. you know a, a nice yep. little surprise when it does become available. Yeah, and, and to partner that money, you have to have matching money typically. It's never 100%. So mm -hmm. when we can partner those, those dollars together, we can make our dollars, our cash in hand, uh, last a lot farther. Great. Well, what as a community can we um, kind of expect or what can we do to help, if anything? Well, it takes resources. Um, you know, we can maintain as much as possible in, and, uh, um, you know, with the resources that we have, but, um, to, but to reconstruct and replace these, uh, this infrastructure is a commitment by the community to say it's, it's important. Mm -hmm. And um, we drive on our streets every day, so we can see those, our water and sewer mains and our storm sewer mains, um, you know, those are all buried and mm -hmm. they're out of sight, out of mind. So, um, you know, education to, to think about these, uh, you know, these systems um, and their needs for replacement is, uh, is something we're trying to educate the community. Sure. And we use them every day, so we've got to take care of them. Absolutely. Great. Well, thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for kind of giving us a little background on everything. Absolutely. Well, thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Quality and craftsmanship are at the heart of every suite we craft. Guaranteeing each tempting treat delights the taste buds and gratifies the soul. Sweet Temptations, homemade indulgences that instantly delight and ignite your senses. So whether you need an exceptional gift for someone special or just want to treat yourself, step into Sweet Temptations today and experience the taste of pure bliss. 621 Miller Drive in Grand Haven or at sweet-temptations.com. Dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home, love your loan.